Uh, hello friends uh, in the back to basic series today let us learn about a few common mistakes that uh, most beginner surgeons would make in the early part of their surgical career in this episode i'll be talking about nucleus management which would be basically being sculpting and lateral separation let me remind you that the back to basic series is primarily targeted at the eye surgeons who are in their early part of their surgical career and the residents and the fellows. Let me take you through one such case being performed by relatively a new FACO surgeon and I'll take you through this small video and try to analyze some things for you. We can see that the cataract is quite dense and the surgeon has planned to do a divide and conquer four quadrant technique. The rexus is completed and the surgeon begins to sculpt. His aim is to create four deep trenches uh, which will then be divided into four quadrants before emulsification. The surgeon first finishes the first trench, rotates 90 degrees and then begins the second trench. Well, eventually he has created the classical plus sign which is what is identified with the divide and conquer four quadrant technique. Now let us rewind and try to analyze uh, what are the possible errors in this technique. For starters, we can clearly see that the nucleus is being mechanically pushed at during sculpting. Well, I can attribute two reasons for this error. The energy being delivered is not enough for this density of the nucleus. Either the energy set on the machine is low or the surgeon is not pushing the foot pedal completely down, which is what is required for this density of the nucleus. The second obvious error is the second instrument is not stabilizing the nucleus, it is just being held idle there. Stabilizing the nucleus with the second instrument could have made things significantly easier, especially for a dense cataract like this. Now moving on, in the next trench, the surgeon wants to go deeper but is unable to uh, go deep and instead the nucleus is being pushed at again. We can clearly see that the reason for this is that the sleeve is being obstructed because of the narrow trench. Well, the solution is very simple. For the tip to go deeper, the width of the trench has to be wide enough so that there is no obstruction for the tip and the sleeve to travel seamlessly into the nucleus substance and then we can go ahead and create a deeper trench. So the trick is wider trench will ensure deeper passage of the tip and sleeve. We can see the last trench is significantly better because the width is sufficient enough for the free passage of the tip and also the surgeon has got the hang of the right amount of energy to be used for this density of the nucleus. Now moving on to the lateral separation aspect. All the fragments are separated from each other quite successfully although it appears less well controlled. Few reasons for that. The site of the action is happening in the peripheral field of vision of the surgeon rather than it being in the center. And secondly, the two instruments are not placed deep enough in the trench so that the separation can be less stressful. So let us now go back and see how we can better this. So this is a similarly dense nucleus. And the first thing which I'm doing here is I'm stabilizing the nucleus with my second instrument. And I'm using sufficient amount of energy which is adequate for this density of the nucleus so that the tip moves in very easily without it pushing the nucleus. In fact, we can see that the nucleus material melts in front of the tip as the tip is moving forward during sculpting. This strategy of stabilizing the nucleus and using adequate power during sculpting would cause less stress on the zonules and also on the PC. Secondly, we can see that the superficial portion of the groove is widened so that there is no hindrance for the tip and sleeve to travel deeper into the substance of the dense nucleus. Once we have a wider trench, a deeper trench is so much easier to create which is very critical in these hard cataracts. Another important practical tip which I would like to share here is that to create deeper trenches and to laterally separate them, we need to be seeing things very well because we should have an idea how deep our trench is and where our instruments are placed. 
So it's important that we get the focus of the microscope spot on the place we intend to. That would be the posterior plate. And this would be the basic principle for any surgery. I believe that if we can see well, we can do well. So first ask yourself a question that am I seeing well, then you proceed. Once we start seeing things clearly, we are very sure of placing the two instruments at the right plane, which is as deep as possible in the trench and just above the plane of intended fracture. Then the fracture of the posterior plate is induced effortlessly. So the secret in these dense cataract is to have adequately deep trenches and place the instruments at the right plane that is as deep as possible then it's very easy to laterally separate them. So to conclude, to critically analyze the not so obvious errors is very crucial for us as we proceed in the pursuit of becoming better surgeons. So focusing on these small things is going to help us in a long way. That's it. Thank you for your attention and hope this helps.